Welcome one and all to round number six of season four's F2 racing at RLH. And of course, we're at the Silverstone circuit getting ready for our one-shot qualifying attempt, of course, in our Red Bull liveried Carlin at our home event, of course, being British myself. and just making our way through Stowe Corner. And on the run, you can now see the big wing pit building off to the right there. But as we go past the pit lane entry, down towards Vale, and just Vale and Club to go now, avoiding that red sludge curve on the inside, trying to get the car hooked up nicely, getting the power as early as we can as we run towards the Hamilton straight and across the line. It's going to be a 1 minute 39.1. And Prince actually went fast and has been invalidated early on in the lap. So that is going to be a, uh, well, a double pole position for us. Pole position in Monaco in the last round and pole position here once again. So another cheeky four bonus points for us there. And that'll definitely help us out in the championship standings. But uh, just ahead of Jarry and Wesley. And hello to everyone joining us here in Silverstone this weekend as the drivers make their final preparations for today's race. The grid is forming up and we're getting ready for what promises to be a real spectacle. The 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit in Great Britain should be familiar to fans and drivers alike. Built upon the site of a World War II airbase, the track features 18 corners and some good opportunities to overtake at the end of the two DRS zones located on the Wellington and Hangar streets. As we come to the end of that little introduction, see we've been, we've been hung up to dry a little bit, the only driver on the hard common tyre, but it's lights out and away we go. However, being on that harder, slower compound, we managed to get a really, really good start as we now fly through Abbey and towards Farm. We are ahead of Jarry and Wesley are battling just behind us and we're, well, we're unchallenged to make our way down towards Village and the Loop. So, so far on this first lap, everything is going well, but those hard tyres just aren't really gripping up. You see, as we go a couple of corners later on that lap to the hangar straight, Jarry now looking for a way around the outside. We covered the inside quite aggressively and he's just going to go clean around our outside. Much better grip on those soft compound tyres and well, we tried, to, we tried to fight this one back, maybe trying to look for a move around the outside down towards Vale and Club, but just had the grip on us and we really couldn't defend at this point in the race and I'll be honest with you I, 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 it happened last week of course I went the wrong the wrong way on strategy at, at Monaco and it, it cost me a little bit and I thought I'd go for the hard one this time around and we were just getting overtaken getting caught see Jerry already 2.4 seconds up the road Wesley now going down our inside on lap number three that's down at uh, Brooklands and going up through Luffield down look having a look at her inside that's Jordan now under attack straight away and just well went the wrong way and from there on, it was just a, a you know lose, a fighting a losing battle in some respects. Just trying to do my best to hold off these guys. Even fly now through Cops Corner, just trying to hang it around the outside of Jordan, trying to keep it moving the bounds of the race circuit. And we're wheel to wheel now. We're just in front, so uh, he decides to uh, just back out, going too wide through. Of course, uh, Magus Beckett and Chapel is never going to go well. But as everyone came into the pit lane, okay, we just did our best to try and pump in some of the, you know some good lap times, and you know that's that's all we really could do. And and we came in for the soft compound tyres. We came out in P3 behind Wesley and Jarry. And I had no pace on the soft tyres at all. Couldn't reel them in at all. It ended up P3. It was a pretty un uneventful uh, race apart from his opening couple of laps. Went the wrong way. We get the bonus points, of course, for getting pole position. But still P3, 20 points in our F2 uh, point system. So not too shabby altogether. And uh, yeah, still another podium. So pretty good. We're back. For the second race, we've reversed the top eight from yesterday, and everyone here is getting ready for what's shaping up to be a thrilling conclusion to the weekend. And just like last week's sprint race in Monaco, the rain is out. Sort of intermediate condition rain, of course, only wet tyres for us, and it's uh, lights out and away we go. Lights out for a lot longer. This time around, you got a teammate, both of us on. Uh, the second row of, well, in P2. Um, and he flies now. He's gone up into the lead. So great start uh, from the other Carlin. However, he disconnects. Now it's something to keep in mind. We're trying to go around the outside of Prins now as we head down towards uh, Village. Trying to make this one stick on the brakes. Um, Kappa in P3. Jordan in P4. And actually holding it around the outside. Uh, Prins does really well. There's Bosmos's disconnect. And the problem is we have ghosting off, which I, I do love. I think it's brilliant. However... He, he, he is a, a moving target, effectively. We've got to try and all avoid getting a poor exit there. Luckily, though, for us, Wesley not sort of looking to make a move down in towards Brooklyn's. Ryan the back of Prince maybe thinking about a dive down the inside. Had a think about it. There was a gap on the inside. Um, 
but he just there was well he just couldn't find a way through uh, to be perfectly honest but Bosmos through no fault of his own just sort of holding everyone up here we're just trying to avoid it all maybe trying to pick off a piece or two getting a pretty good exit Prince now trying to cover us off a little bit as we maybe look for a move down the inside a little bit of contact as we now run down the uh, down the National Straight towards Cops Corner Bosmos now in a bit of a sandwich I end up sort of trying to go around the outside of him trying to follow Prince but I go too deep carry too much speed and I've now picked up an illegal overtake on my teammate and at this point, I'm trying to let through a ghost car that's not ghosting. And it, it just didn't work. I needed him just to nip ahead like he did there. And I want to try and get the position straight back, which I managed to do. But he's just getting on the power. It's so treacherous in these conditions. Wheel to wheel, my teammate Brent just behind, uh, trying to look for a move on the inside. Cover off the inside, not giving in that at all. Um, I want to you know, make sure I held on to this P5 and see Wesley's managed to get ahead of our teammate too. They're not great. Uh, the boss was on that, but as we have a smooth transition onto the following lap, onto lap two, looking to try and find a way past Jordan. He goes in a little bit too deep, a little bit too deep on the brakes, and now we're trying to line him up a bit like Alex Albon did to Kevin Magnussen. We're going to try and make this one stick again alongside him a lot more than Alex did, and well, down the inside uh, through uh, Club, but he's still there. We're going wheel to wheel now as we run down towards Abbey, and we just keep ahead this time around and move ourselves up into P4. And now on the attack of Kappa on lap four, but a massive moment for us. Somehow managed to hold this while we cover the inside. Brent, though, trying to go clean around our outside. He was really, really quick in the wet, and he's just made his cheek. He's got the grip somehow just to hang it around our outside. Kappa, unfortunately, in front, losing the rear on. Oh, no, that's the next lap. Sorry, Kappa. Um, <laughs> and uh, well, wheel to wheel with Brent, we go. And moving on down towards Abbey. He's going to have the inside line. He's going to have the high ground. And well, we just sort of have to back out a little bit here. And we're now dropped back down into P5. So gained a place and have now lost it and now looking on the back of Brent we're trying to get back at him looking to try to go around the outside uh, as we get up towards Stowe have we got the grip that you know can we find some of that grip he had he goes a little bit deep that sort of forces us a little bit wide really really being aggressive and pick up another little warning there we've got three seconds already to our name as we go down towards uh, Vale and Abbey once again and this time on lap number five Wesley sniffing behind as well and that's unfortunately for Kappa where he loses it had a great start to this race and was doing pretty well but uh yeah, got him for him there. And, well, another warning for us. It's not looking good. I don't know how anyone else can pick up warnings. It was so treacherous on the track. And on lap nine now, Phil been overtaken by his teammate. Big moment for us there. And that's going to allow Wesley to have a really good run on us. And once again, I just found that just holding that inside line was the best option to try and defend. We got up towards Stowe once more and sort of squeeze him as much as we dare. And we just seem to be able to get on the power a little bit earlier than him. Again, just being a, bit, a little bit cheeky, squeezing him on the outside. And we're ahead as we go into the braking zone down at Vale. And then we've got Phil and Brent in front of us. We move on to the final lap of the race. 69% on the front left. Really, really hard on the tyres this race. Six second penalties to myself, so I'm going to be losing position to Wesley. Um, as we're right on the back of Phil. I don't know, a bit of a turbulent air or something, but a massive moment. Don't even know how I held on to that one. I don't know how I held on to the one earlier on, but crazy stuff there. Wesley has um, got ahead of us, losing so much momentum there. And we, yeah, we... Well, we lost the place to Wesley. We're going to lose it anyway because of penalties. But we're, we're still fighting in this. I was um, quite aggressive in this race, I feel. Uh, def I'm definitely on the good side now. Having a look down the inside of Wesley, he wasn't going to go for anything too dangerous. But Phil going a little bit deep. Wesley now trying to maybe try and do a bit of a switch. But what he did earlier on to Jordan and drag race towards the line. Wesley makes contact with Phil. I made them make contact with Wesley. We're both spinning, just trying to get across the line and smashing into the barriers. Uh, we come across the line in P5. Not a bad race overall. I mean, it, we started where we finished. Nope, we finished where we started. Um, so pretty good overall.